Okay, if you're interested in making flash games for the web that are multiplayer games, then you should definitely check out SmartFox Server, um, multi-user server. It's uh, located at smartfoxserver.com, and it's a Java socket server by which you can create interactive applications in which um, clients, you know, in flash games can communicate with other clients by way of this server, this Java socket server, and that'll help you to make uh, multi-user applications like chat programs um, and also uh, multi-user games, uh, multiplayer games, and stuff like that. So if you go to smartfoxserver.com, I'm going to show you how to get started with it. You go there and you look at products and you're interested in SmartFox Server. That's what I'm going to show you today. And for our class, for our multiplayer class, game programming class, I want you to download SmartFox Server Pro. So you click there and go down to Downloads. And you'll see here that you can download it and install it for Windows, Linux, or um, the Mac OS. And so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to download it for, notice these notes, a couple of uh, warning notes, but I'd like you to download um, the Windows Vista, uh, the Windows Vista download if you're running Windows. Here's the Windows download. And also download this patch here, 1.6.8 patch. You can see it right there. And there's a blue box uh, update right here, 1.0.5, which you might want. And always read the notes and installation instructions. So once you get it downloaded, okay, what I want you to do is go and um, go to the support page. And I've already opened up the support page here. This is the support page. If you look here, um, user documentation. The documentation that comes with SmartFox server is excellent. You'll just go to the uh, introduction and you'll click on requirements and installation and installing on Windows and it tells you basically um, once you've installed the program a couple of things about installing it and there's an important note here. They recommend that when you run the installer that you should install it um, not to your normal default um, program files path where all your programs are installed but instead install it to your home directory so your home directory would be like whatever this is this is my home directory and if I scroll down I've installed it there in my home directory not in my program files folder directory okay so um, that's one recommendation they make so read that and um, aside from that, once you get it installed, it installs pretty easily. You'll just go to Start Programs. It'll still show up in your Start menu. Um, and I'll click right here. And then there's the icon for Start SmartFox Server. And you'll click there. And it will open up in a um, command prompt window, a line command window. And if it goes through its setup, and stays open and it says that the server is ready here right started uh, it looks like it says here get info right here it says server is up and running server ready okay so and then the window should stay open like this that means that the server is working and to just double check what you can do is you can go to your folder so I go here to my home folder then I'll scroll down to the SmartFox Server Pro folder and then inside of it, there are example files. So I'll go to the example files folder. Here it is. OK. I'll double click on that. And in here, um, I'm going to go just right off the bat to this action script AS2 folder. And these are example files for uh, basically 25 chapters, 25 projects worth of example files. And I'll go to the first one, Simple Connect. And you'll see there's the Flash file, which shows you how it was coded, the Flash movie, and then an in, uh, HTML page to hold the movie. And I'll just open up that HTML page. Okay, and all right. And there it is. 
I got a couple of warnings. I'm not quite sure what that was about. But here's um, opened up in um, Firefox, and there it is. Uh, there's the sample file. The simple connect project will just connect to the server, and you get some output in this window that says connection successful. So I was able to connect to the server. When you run the installation, um, I'm going to uh, go there right now to my downloads folder. Let's see here. When you run the installation, here's the installer. I'll run it really quickly. You want to make sure to um, tell Windows Firewall to allow the communication to go through. You want to basically have Windows Firewall. If you're going to keep Windows Firewall on, you want it to allow SmartFox server to talk on certain ports um, so that the communication is working. And here is the installer. And you'll see there's the license agreement. You click Agree. And then this is the first part where you want to change it. So instead of the C drive program files, you want to browse to your home directory um, instead. So you'll change it there, right? And I'm just going to cancel out. Make sure to allow uh, Windows Firewall to allow it through. And then for updating, I've got the update here, the patch file here. It's a zipped file and the blue box zipped file. And I'll show you. I unzipped the patch folder. And inside, all you have to do is read the installation notes and then put the files where they need to go in the SmartFox folder. So this one says server. There's two files that need to go in the server folder. So all you do is go over to the SmartFox folder. <coughs> Excuse me. Go to the SmartFox folder. I'll get there. This is the SmartFox folder. I go to the server folder and I just paste the files where they need to go. And then you'll be updated. And then for the other one, the Flash API, I copied both of these directories, directories AS2 and AS3, right? These are in the Flash API folder. And I copied them over to the SmartFox folder in the folder called Flash API. So if I go in there now, you can see I copied both of those directories in there. And so then that basically updates SmartFox to 1.6.8 version. Okay. Um, and that's about it. It's running. So in the next videos, I'll show you how to create a program. And I'm just going to follow along with the tutorials that they have built in right in their website and the documentation. And you can get started making multi-user applications in Flash.